So, after you've spoken to the sponsors and double checked with the guests, mm -hmm. don't forget to double check with the guests because they get quite confused sometimes and do the wrong thing. That's when you can start running mixed bath. I always like a bath bomb for him because it gets him into the zone. It's good, it's always good. Uh, yeah, um, um, excuse me, um, hello, um, bath? Yeah, yeah, because you want him to be relaxed when the guests turn up, don't you? Um, excuse me, hello, um, just one little thing, um, when I was asked here for the interview for a producer, um, one thing that wasn't on there is babysitting. Babysitting? He's the star of the show. I don't he's care. He's got to get his mind in zone. I don't care if he's the queen. I am not running people's baths. I am not going to bath him. You don't have to bath him. I'm, 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 I'm not going to bath him. Quite good. No so, bathing involved. It's just that like you've got to get him ready. You've got to look after him. He's the key man. Oh, Jesus. Right. Um. You know, it's... Thanks for inviting me in that, but... You know, it's... We haven't talked about the shaving yet, the shaving routine. Yeah. What are you doing, Marty? You're going to give me a rash. A Christmas rash, at least. A rash is a rash, Marty, and you know how I feel about Christmas. You used to like Christmas when you were little. We all grow up, Marty. Anyway, it could be, could be my last Christmas, couldn't it? What do you mean, last Christmas? That's producer on the show. I've told you a hundred times, Marty, you don't need to leave the show. I do. You need someone bigger now, someone better. You've moved on. It's time for me to step aside for you. You know, maybe like after the show we could have a, like a little bit of a chat, can we? We're having a chat now. Yeah, I mean, like, more about, like, some more important stuff. Like, proper chat. I don't know what you could need to say to me that you can't say now, Marty. Well, it's like things. All right, we, we can have a proper chat after the show, just exactly as we are now, and, and maybe by then you'll have got the tree up. Bloody... Thing. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. Right. You do that, I'll roll the fag. Okay. Where is my tobacco? I've got to take the trip. What am I supposed to... Ho, 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 you little ho. Merry Christmas. Give us a hug. Oh, my sack is so full. You're <laughs> no. grotesque, you know that, Kev. Yeah, I know. I know. But you love it, right? It's gonna be good. What's on the show, anyway? What have we got? What's coming up? Come on. Oh, uh, we've got Christmas we've special. We've got uh, some bloke with a puppet again. Pu oh, I'm not puppets. I fucking hate puppets. <laughs> I don't even understand why... Marty keeps booking them. Well, you can't even... It's a podcast, for God's sake. It is Marty, you know. That's why he's going, isn't it? Anyway. Right, I'm getting chilly. I've got to say good Merry Christmas to Marty as well. The useless Merry bastard. Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. Capsulous. And that was Stocks in Decline. Uh, thank you for that, Kev. As usual... Very informative. No problem. All wrapped up with a little bow. Christmas reference. On the show with us today is uh, Peter Perry, the puppet poet with his penguin, Ian. Hello, it's great to be here. So what's it like being a puppet poet? 
Well, that's a pretty difficult question, actually. Um, I mean, I suppose, really, Ian got me into it. In, as in the puppet I, penguin, Ian. 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 Right, and, and how did he get you into it? Um, well, he just asked if, if, if he'd work, if, he, if I wanted to work with him, and I said, sure. Oh. It's giving me the shivers, that is. So, so do, you, do you write the poetry, or, or is that also Ian? Well, obviously Ian writes the poetry. So uh, would you prefer us to address Ian directly? <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, Ian's the, the talent. I'm, I'm effectively just his agent. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. So, uh, Ian, um, Hello. could you quickly, quickly tell us about your relationship with Pete? How long have you known him? Um, well, uh, a few years. Do you uh, live together? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it yeah. quite a connection you guys have? Uh, yeah, ever since we met on the South Pole, actually. Uh, oh. Oh. Did he become your muse, did he? You know, a manner of speaking. Yes. So, so I mean, uh, listen, guys, guys, guys. I, I thought I was here to read a poem. Um, I mean, I, I love the show. I, lo I absolutely love listening to your show. I love the politics and just the, uh, the 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 conflict and the um, the controversy that you bring to a normally uh, passive uh, British audience. Well, a global audience, really, isn't it? Um, I love it, but um, uh, I don't like Kevin much. Makes sense. But other than that, fantastic. But like I say, I do have a poem. Hey. Ravish. Respect. Defile. Delect. Indecent. Indulgent. Salacious. Delicious. Violate. Venerate. Trash. Art. Abuse. Abstruse. Dirt. Earth. Thank you. What's up? What's going on? Not still sulking over Sandra, are you? No? What's up then? Come on. Tell me. What's going on? What well, is I've got to talk to, to Mick. About what? You're leaving. You don't have to go, you know? Just stay with us. It's more than that. What, what do you mean more than that? What's that got to do with the price of fish? Well, that's going to rise when we leave the EU. The price of fish. Really? How so? Well, because we won't have, uh, we won't be able to trade the fish with with other countries, and so well, like, the, we, the industry we won't would need no exportation. To. We no, there won't be any fishing quotas. We can fish as much as we want. Our empire. Well, there's will... still got to be fishing quotas. That's no, that's not. No, you can't just no, zap get no, rid of them. No, and no, I, no, fishing quotas! It's a very pescatarian argument. Very pesky argument. So, uh, Pete, what do you think about, what do you think about Brexit? Well, I, I tend to think that we just need to get on with it, really, don't we? The, the, the decision's been made and, and, you know, no matter how you feel about it, it it's, it's the people's vote, right? You seem less keen than Ian on the... Very different sides of the argument I'm feeling here. Well, you, you know, I mean, normally what, what Ian wants, Ian gets. So he voted for Brexit. And how did you vote, Pete? Uh, ballot's a secret. Well, you know, his mum was down the other week. Yeah. She was, like, she was nice. Yeah, well, see, we used to... Get on quite well, me and his mum, yeah. back in the day. Yeah, cool. And she announced, like, didn't even warn me. Like, just announced that 
Mick. Yeah, what about Mick? He's my son. What? What? Say, say that again? He's my son. My boy. Huh? He doesn't know. Oh shit, man. That's hard, man. I don't want Mick as my son. I mean, I mean, oh, Jesus, um, um, I don't know what to say. You kind of look the same, I guess. Well, I'm going to have the team after the show today. Okay. I'm going to be good. All right, man. You can do it. I'll be fine. You got this. You can do it. Go, Daddy. Yeah. And that was All I Want for Christmas is EU by the Ramonas. And now, for Mick's final thoughts of 2018. Christmas is just round the corner, and I'm sure everyone is already feeling the pinch, which is always worse in January. Well, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that will be nothing compared to after the 29th of March. Brexit is coming. And we can all uh, enjoy ourselves, celebrate, eat nice food, spend a lot of money, but Brexit is still around the corner and we need to seriously think about what's, what's happening in this next part of the year. Politicians have gone away on holiday for Christmas whilst Brexit has still not been decided upon in the House of Commons. We're in total chaos. But it's okay because we'll, we'll stand round the Christmas tree and sing carols instead about someone being born thousands of years ago. Like that has any importance right now. We could see such a, a damaging effect to our country. We could see the Union split up. Twenty eighteen has been entirely focused on Brexit and Trump, and rightly so. There are other problems out there, but we need to deal with this one first. We need to stop this from happening. Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good Christmas. And uh, remember, Brexit is just round the corner. Get ready. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Let's hope for no Brexit. Ooh, lights off. Nobody. Means it's a wrap. Yeah. yeah come on. Yeah. Why? Why hasn't this all been put away yet, Marty? Come on, get on with it. Leave all of that for now. Let's go get some Christmas drinks in the we in the go. mix here, man. So we've just finished the episode. Let's go. Yep. Yeah, let's go. Come on. What, like just has to. Yeah. Come on. Like they got clean enough to do, and he doesn't drink. Well, you gonna have a better time. Then? Yeah, we'll have a better time on our own. Come on, I'll show you my North Pole. Come on, that's gonna be a drink, right? Because that's that's well, weird, man. I can't. I don't know. No, Maybe. No, no. Where did they go? I think they've gone for a drink, which is good because we wanted to have our chat, didn't we? The chat. Yeah, you remember. You know what, I, I think I might have one. Go ahead. Thank you. Got crackers. We have one each, don't you? Merry Christmas! Hey, we got one each.
what says O O O? I, I don't know. Santa walking backwards. <laughs> I got a frog. Cool. That's in here. <laughs> what type of shoes does Santa wear when he travels on a train? Don't know. Platforms. Jesus, who writes this shit? Well, you, you could do better. You know, it just doesn't it doesn't taste the same as I remember. Well, it's been sitting around a while this bowl. I, I don't think it's that. Oh. So it went okay, didn't it? Yep. I still don't understand why you get a puppeteer on a podcast. Well, I think I spoke to Ian first off. I didn't realise there was two of them. I didn't get that new, the guy I interviewed today, I don't think he's going to get the job. Be producer, I don't think I'm going to employ him to be me. He wasn't that committed, you know. Yeah, I was meaning to say that to you actually, is that Nathan Dunn? Oh, yes. Look, Marty, I don't, I, I don't want to replace you with someone who's less capable than you are. That's not a compliment. Look, you, you, you're not going to leave. You're not leaving the show. It's ridiculous. Well, it, it's, it's things are a bit, bit more complicated. You see, Mick. I don't know what you've got into your head, Marty, but just, look, you're staying on the show and we're going to continue as we have done before. End of story, all right? Yeah, no, 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 no. Maybe you could um, have a look at this, because I kind of, I tried to write it down and explain, I, need to, I don't know, I've gone through so many different Christmas cards, I've got a whole box of them have ruined. I, I didn't get you one. Oh, that's right, that's right. I don't really do cards, to be no. honest. No, you have never really Wasteful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasteful. Yeah. To you, Mick, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. P.S. Your mum said I'm your dad. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. Good one. No, no Mick, um, I didn't know how to explain. Your mum, your mum told me. But we had a, it was like a weekend thing. Long time ago, well, kind of well, nine months before you, you were you, born. You, you had sex with my mum? But you weren't there. You didn't exist then. I didn't know. Hang on, wait, no, I'm not your son. You've got this confused somewhere. <laughs> this is ridiculous because, like, my dad died ten years ago. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It turns out that he wasn't your real dad. We never did like him very much, did you? I've been there for you. Always I've been there for you. I didn't even know. I just had this kind of urge to be there for you. Because I love you. How long have you known? Um, it was only when your mum come down. It was only when your mum come down that she told me. <laughs> I was as surprised as you, son. Don't. <laughs> what are you doing? No, no, Marty, you are not my father, alright? You're the producer of this show and I don't... 
I don't know what you and my mum got up to, and I don't really want to know. Me, I was the producer. I am your dad. It's not that bad. Look, we 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 we're, we're best of pals. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's It changes everything. This I don't know how to deal with this right now. No, what you it'll be all right. I, I, I'll I'll take a back seat and get out. The producers have to like look at me like in a dead way all the time. But you know, we'll carry on doing all the same things we always have. Please. No, I. I don't know. I can't deal with this right now. I can't think about this right now, okay? You just need to... I'll go. I'll go. Just get out, right? Sorry. You don't have to leave, Marty. <laughs> you know. I'm leaving. You can't. Where are you going to go? I, I'm, I'm going off with, with Richard and the anti-fascists to South America. South America? Yeah, we're going to go and fight Bolsonaro. It's show. We need you. I've got to go. I've, I've... Look, you know that I wasn't happy here in, in this damn country anyway. I, I need to get out into the world. This is just more of a reason to do it, alright? Keep the show running. Oh, me. Yes. 